So I've been getting a lot of complaints lately about the new JavaScript algorithms in data structures beta certification being a little bit too hard for beginners. And I absolutely agree. There's a lot of stuff in here that's not really covered in depth, like specifically the for loops like these right here. Like there's like literally we went over for loops in this one, maybe, I don't know, three times. And in this one, we went over for loops right at the end. Uh, one time. Where is it at? Anyway, it's somewhere in here. Uh, mm, anyway, you're gonna have to believe me. <laughs> Source, trust me, bro. <laughs> anyway, uh, come on. There's a for loop in here somewhere. I know there is. Anyway, we'll find it some other time. When you go through it, you'll see it. Anyway, regardless. Uh, so yeah, this stuff goes through it very, very scantily, right? There's not a lot uh, of in-depth mm, learning when it comes to this course right here. And that's the truth. Uh, but let me tell you right now, all the JavaScript that I know came from this right here, Free Code Camp, and also Code Wars, okay? Uh, other than that, I, you know, I mean, I did some chat GPT just a little bit just to check it out. But honestly, that was like maybe four or five things. But for real, this stuff is where I got it at. And I and you can see the proof right here over on my playlist. These are literally all of the problems I've ever done uh, when it comes to Code Wars right here, like the 7Q, Code War 6Q, 7Q, 8Q. You can see I've got 350 videos here. 326 videos here, 22 here. I've also got nine here, seven here. That's about 705 of them, all right? Plus, I've done all these uh, free code camps as well, all right? So this is all the experience I have. That being said, I'm gonna tell you how to do this the most smooth way possible, right? To learn this stuff smoothly. So to do it smoothly, and remember, I didn't have my videos when I was learning this stuff. I had to learn all this stuff by sitting there and staring at it and trying to figure it out for hours and hours and hours. I mean, some of these Code Wars videos took me all day just to do one, okay? Uh, that being said, this is the smooth way. First, you come over here to JavaScript algorithms and data structures, right? This is the legacy course. It's gonna be right down here at the bottom of the Free Code Camp main page, uh, where it's, it's the third one, is the second one under Explore Our Legacy Curriculum. This one right here. That's what this is gonna be. Boom, prove it, there it is, all right? Uh, so this one first, right? Go through this, it's only like, I don't know, like two, 200, maybe 300 uh, problems or, or, or lessons, whatever. And every single one of these I've got a video on. So if you got a problem with them, you just go check out my video by typing out uh, like debugging uh, and then type all this stuff in right here into Google and my video should pop up, right? Uh, maybe let's prove that. Let's see if that's going to work. Uh, oh, there it is right there. So yeah, you'll see my videos pop up whenever you type this stuff in, okay? Maybe they're not at the top, but they are there, all right? Uh, and you can see this guy did 25 seconds. Okay, thank you, man. Uh, and this one, I mean, I don't know. I've never seen, never even heard of this guy, but maybe it's pretty good. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The fact is that's step one. Go through this stuff right here. The legacy course. Step two, code wars. Go through as many as you can. Okay. Let's go to the practice thing. So for the code wars, you can go to the difficulty 8Q. This is the easiest right here. You look this up. You just go through all of them that you can. And it's only 385 of them on the 8Q. That's the easiest ones here. Uh, you can start by like the highest approval rating or satisfaction ratings like these 93s. You got 50 ones right here. I don't know what the problem with that one is. I haven't even done it yet. But, it, you know, some of them are bad. Some of them are good. Uh, but they are all there. All right. And if you go through all of them, you know, you'll be you'll be good. And then 8Q, go through the 7Qs. All right. There's going to be. 1960 of these so you can literally pick through all of the 90s all of the 80s and the high 70s and you will be good to go to go check out the 6q right here which i've only done like 20 uh maybe even less i think it was only 22 of these you know let's go see 
I only did 22 of those, right? And then the five Qs, I don't even think I've done any five Qs. Uh, but yeah, you can do some five Qs if you feel like it. But once you've got done a lot of these, then once you come over here to the JavaScript algorithm and data structures beta uh, curriculum, this stuff will be, it won't be easy, but at least you'll know a lot more of what's going on than if you just straight go into this thing. Because uh, now, because this thing, like this thing right here, this one gave me a lot of trouble. Calorie counter, uh, building a music player, gave me some trouble on this one because this stuff, unlike the Code Wars, this is all basically algorithms, right? But this stuff is actual website building right here. Uh, like, what was it? Like accessing the HTML with the JavaScript and manipulating the HTML. Let's go through, let's go check that out. Like this stuff right here is actually accessing the IDs from the HTML and manipulating it however we need to do it so that this thing works the way we want it to, right? Uh, that being said, yeah, so once you get to once you get through the code wars and come over here, I'm not saying it'll be a piece of cake, but you'll be a lot more ready for it over here, over here. Once you got once you do the code wars and come over here, it'll be you'll be a lot more ready for it, right? So that's pretty much all I got to say for right now. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just leave uh, stuff in the comments on any of the videos. Oh yeah, and don't forget, always remember. If you used one of the videos, you didn't, you have to go back and you have to do that one over again without video support. All right. Because if you just run through using the videos, you didn't learn nothing. Right. I mean, you're, that's a part of it. I mean, you learned a little bit, but you didn't, you know, do it yourself. So make sure after you watch the video and get through it, make sure you go back and do it again without the video. And it would be even better if you went all the way to the very beginning of like calorie counter or code wars or whatever, and did it all the way through once again without video support. Because remember, if you just fly through it, that's fine, whatever, but you're only cheating yourself, right? There's nobody, nobody's handing out grades for this stuff. The only way you're gonna prove yourself to an employer or prove yourself uh, to yourself by making apps and whatever is with your own actual skill. So you gotta do what you gotta do, all right? But this is, in my opinion, this is the most smooth way to do it. You will learn this stuff smoothly, easily. Uh, I think the, the tedious part about it makes it not easy, it makes it hard, but it will go smoothly, okay? You can actually have steps. It won't be like a broken sidewalk with quicksand in the middle of each, uh, each block that you're walking on, right? It's actually a smooth sidewalk all the way down the road to where you're going, all right? So just to let you know about that, hopefully this helps you out. Uh, that's pretty much it for now. Let's go find a good place to do this. So do whatever I said or don't. Do whatever you want, honestly. <coughs> Pardon me. And we'll see you next time.